Oh, and Justin Bieber is so damn fine. So damn fine. I went to his concert this past Saturday here in Houston and he was absolutely amazing. Oh, uh, mm. But anyway, that's not the point of this video though. So earlier this week, I was in the library studying, and by studying, I mean like on YouTube or whatever. And I was sitting in my little cubicle, you know, in my little private area where no one could really like disturb me. I was like, you know, isolated from everyone else. Anyway, there was this cute guy that was sitting diagonally from me, and he was sitting in in the long table section, like, in, in the middle of the in the middle of the the floor is um, long tables where like groups can sit, and then surrounding the long tables are cubicles where I was. And so he was just sitting there, and he was sitting in the corner, you know. And so it was like close to me, and I was just like, oh my god, this guy is really, really cute. And so I tried my best to like stare him down, but. Um, it was just so hard because I didn't want to get caught and he was studying as well like as in he had earphones and he was watching something on his laptop but anyway he was facing this way you know and I was facing this way trying to get a sneak of him and I couldn't because I was just like oh my god I couldn't because he was facing my direction and I didn't want him to like catch me looking at him because like what if he wasn't gay and then he'd be like what the fuck why are you looking at me like that and you know and so anyway, what really caught my attention was like his outfit and his whole aesthetic going on. I was just really digging it and I was just like, man, you can get it. You are cute and you can dress yourself like... He had really nice hair, he had some cute socks, like... Oh my god. Ugh. I'm so lame too because I just started imagining, I was like, okay Patrick, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take out a piece of paper and you're gonna write, hey, you're really cute and then my phone number on there, and then fold it up, and then as I'm leaving, I walk by his table and accidentally drop the piece of paper as I walk out of the library. <sighs> Obviously that didn't happen because I don't have the balls to do anything when it comes to interacting with guys. So, he left and I just got a good um, glimpse of his backside, his butt, whatever. He was Asian, if anyone's wondering. He was cute Asian guy, had a cute little haircut going on, you know. And I was just, I was just like, man, you were super cute. Speaking of butts, I remember when I was in a community college before I transferred to um, the University of Houston. I remember there was this one guy that I became acquaintances with. I say acquaintances because, um, you know, he was he was more into my um, company than I was to him. Like, you know, I don't really care if he was like around me, but he liked my um, presence with him. Anyway, um, he had a crush on me, this guy, and I remember um, one time, what class was it? I forgot what class it was, but he sat in front of me and we sat in desks right like in high school and i remember i had to like had to like scoot in so i had to like scoot in sideways and like whatever and after class i think it was after class he was like man he he stopped me he was like man i'm sorry but um you have a cute butt and i was just like what <laughs> that was the first time anyone has ever like complimented my butt to my face and the fact that like you know obviously I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just trying to scoot in because the row was really narrow and I was just trying to scoot in trying to get to my seat and apparently I guess my butt was all up in his desk sorry about it but but get it but <laughs> yeah that kind of creeped me out and I was just like uh, um okay thanks and I don't even know what happened to him. I don't. I don't talk to him anymore, obviously, because I transferred, and I don't even. I don't even remember his name. I don't know. But he was just some guy, and I was just like, Ugh. but you know, he wasn't. He wasn't my type. I'm sorry. I guess this goes to show you that I have no luck with boys. Um, if 
I think a guy is cute or is my type, then I don't do shit. And the guys that do like me are not my type, and I do shit about it. I'm just like, no, no, not interested. God, why am I so dumb? Like, I can't talk to the guys that I like, but the guys that like me, I can just straight up be like, no, no. That's <laughs> so weird. Anyway, in the comments below, let me know, are you good at talking with guys? And if you are, can you give me some tips, girl? Because <laughs> I could use all the help that I can, you know? Anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I'll talk to y'all soon. And good luck with the mans. I know I need all the luck that I can get. Hmm. Ingat.